Are we back? This looks like our old dorm. Chloe! Chloe, you're alive, yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. <laughs> and now we're just expected to dive right back into where we were before. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. I, I just can't believe that. Like, we made that big of an impactful decision, and now we're just expected to get right back to it. Back to where we were before all this started. I can't sleep is right. Damn it. This game is going to give me nightmares. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Oh my god, we're back at- well, this is Chloe's room. Jesus. Alright, so the board. I don't know what all this is. Okay, so there's Rachel and that weird guy. Frank is his name. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. Great. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. So, they want us to limit our use of the rewind power. Easier said than done. All right, photo op there. Ambient. All right, well, is there anything else? Look at, God, look at all this. Magazine, look, no, I don't really want to examine any of that. Wait, what was that? Oh, the snow dough! That snow dough always makes me think of William and Chloe. It's there to follow us through the game. I'm getting lost in all this shit. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? Quite a bit of time. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. Jesus. On to our next adventure. Are we allowed to go anywhere else? No, I don't really want to go there. Don't need to go there. Yeah, we'll just head downstairs. If I can make it down the stairs. Oh. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just 
Better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. What it does that mean? David isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. So these are all photos of Chloe, I would presume. Wow, that was definitely a different David than we've ever seen. Oh, what does the TV say? Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Well, Warren had texted us. Sorry I got your fate got in your face today and took out my bullshit rage on my best friend. Chloe, I understand you're going through a lot. We all are. Besides, I threw your beanie out the window and busted out my rewind. Okay, that is one you get. Or, okay, that is your one get out of emoji jail free card. But we have to stock up on cigs, coffee, and candy for an all-nighter. We have to get into Rachel and Kate detective mode. Uh, Juliet. Oh, oh, that's the one at the dorm. Uh, hey, Max, hope you're okay. Juliet, are you busy? No time to be busy. You never text me. What's going down? Besides everything, I was just curious if you ever heard of a guy named Frank. You mean a van down by the river? Oh, good Chris Farley reference. I heard he's a sketchy meth head. That's about it. Why? Are you doing your own investigation without my help? No, just bored. Talk soon. Thanks. Richard Marsh. Oh, this was Kate's uh, father. Okay, Max, this is Richard Marsh again. I wanted to let you know that Kate's service is next week and our family would like to extend an invitation to you. I know you've been through a lot and we fully understand if you can't attend. Kate was our special angel and your friendship with her blessed us all. I'll send you the details later today. Again, thank you for being a light in the darkness. Uh, thank you, Mr. Marsh. I will attend the service. I know my words don't mean much, but I want you to know that Kate is always in my thoughts and always will be. And last but not least, Warren. Let's see what we got here. Okay, uh, Jesus, there was a lot. Thanks for helping out with my experiment. I didn't help at all. You did enough so that I got an A- minus instead of the B+, plus I was stressed out about. Okay, I'll take your credit for your success. Congrats, I rule. Uh, even though A- minus is such a bullshit grade, A-? minus. <laughs> Somehow I think you'll survive. Tell that to my folks. Got a jam bathroom. Thanks for sharing. Yo, yo, Max, your friend Chloe texted me that I'm out of the loop now she sounds hot so i get why chloe actually te texted you i sure didn't have her number at least i still get to go ape with you unless you want to chill with chloe or we could all go one pain in the ass is enough cool i have to jet talk, talk to you later Jeez, i don't even know what to make of all these messages this is just so much drama i don't know how much of that i left in there hey the uh change is back looks like they're back on the road to paris a stool i can sit I guess we will reflect on everything. Somehow I existed in this whole other reality, but I, I don't know what happened. The more I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happens. Now Max Caulfield exists in two... Um, or maybe three different realities. How can I have a destiny? If these alternate lives exist, I hate the thought of William and Joyce finding Chloe like that. <sighs> Thinking about all these lifelines almost makes my head hurt worse than the rewind. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. This game be crazy. Yeah, look at this. It's all different. Like, they have the couch and the TV different. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, I was going to say, they've definitely cleaned out the fireplace by now, but if we could see, like, the remnants of the picture there, that would be, that would be crazy. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Well, I can already see the lockers that are locked up. So that's got to be holding something crazy, like, uh, like guns. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Despite our rather heated discussion about the successful petition to block a surveillance system, I'm still interested in your feedback on other methods of improving Blackwell's security. It is good, though, that we didn't have the cameras installed because then we definitely would have gotten caught at the pool. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. 
Wow. I didn't need a surveillance camera to see the suspension coming. Holy moly. At least he has one weird fan. Anonymous. Uh, dear Mr. Madsen, I just want to let you know I think it's bullshit what happened to you and this school has too many libtard metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. I felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge and I thought about you protecting me. Or, and I, yeah, and I thought about you protecting me. I hope you will come back to Blackwell and make sure we are all safe at night. I'm scared of this school. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Uh, I apologize for my outburst yesterday in your office. I was so upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts and based solely on the claims of untrustworthy students. Oh my god, there was a cancer at Blackwell Academy and without me it will continue to spread. Wow, those are some words. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts too. Oh shit, look at this. Those are, that's a lot of cameras. All right, what else do we have here? Anything, anything. Oh, cardboard box, let's look at that. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Oh, geez. David is packing up wedding stuff too. Either Chloe stole another gun or David is out there armed. Yeah, my bet is David's got the gun. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Mr. Madsen, thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Ooh, that's sketchy. Did he get him a gun? Oh, no. I wonder if David is going to the party. End of the world party. Oh, wow. Yep, that's the, uh, that's the party that everybody's referring to. Let's check out the lockers. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? I want to use it. Oh my god. Okay, well. I don't know. Let's try 3210. Shit. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, I need to find a way to break this padlock. What was that? A nest? Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Please don't kill the eggs. All right, got to take the photo. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Okay, now, we need to move the plank back because I guarantee you, if oh, we don't- Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy eggs. I guarantee you because if we leave the plank the way it was and like the door opens or like a car comes through, that would knock right into the nest and they'd get so screwed up. All right, well, I gotta find something to break this padlock. There's gotta be something in here, man. Oh, the crowbar, yeah, duh. Okay, I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. That was easy. Thought I was gonna have to search for a lot longer than that. Let's do it. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Let's see what's behind door number one. Notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. He has a time stamped Kate Marsh. She knows something. What in the fuck? Look at all these latitude and longitude marks. Oh, wait a minute. That was uh, Warren getting beaten up by uh, Nathan. That's Chloe's license plate, right? Maybe not. Oh, man, that's a creepy picture of me. Something, Rachel, something pay up. Ugh. We got the secret documents. Score. Back to Chloe now. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. 
David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. Oh wait, there's Mr. Jefferson and the principal. Oh man, look at that kid skateboarding. Jeez, so oh, there's that pothead Justin kid. That was the tree that we were at when D David took the picture. Oh, that's Mrs. Grant and Samuel. There's the, the totem pole. My God, look at all these people that we've met before. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say great. Uh, I'd put great in air quotes. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Okay, so... Who are we talking to? Yo, I'm gonna dodge this football. Justin, it's been so <laughs> long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too much shit going on, man. Try going to Blackwell. Insane. So I hear. Any word at all, Rachel? Dude, I wish. I'm working on it. And I miss her laugh when I bail off my board. She was probably high. Yeah, she had the sick nugs. True that. Okay, I have to bounce. Come hang with us at the park sometime. All right. Well, that was a weird conversation. Uh, who's this? I don't think I've ever talked with you. Oh, no, wait. It's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Oh, you're jealous, aren't you? Hey, Brooke. How are you? Considering what happened to Kate, I could be better. Are you okay? Um, drone, Nathan, or whales? Uh, what about a drone? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. That's wow. so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Yeah, you already said that. Where the hell is the drone? There it is. I should knock that thing down. Talk to you later, Max. It's not like I don't own all the original apes, though. What the hell's happening here? That that was a weird thing. Like the game is like glitching out right there. She did say that Nathan walked off campus, but the game like glitched, so I'm I'm probably gonna edit that out. I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Okay. Had to so yeah, that way another batch of dead birds today. Sad. 
makes me mad. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. Okay, that was a very, very weird conversation. Um, I guess we'll talk to these two. Might as well. Hello, Max. Thanks Hello. again for helping me. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. That's weird. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. Recent events, Nathan or Kate? I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. Um, uh, scientific explanation? There must be a scientific explanation, right? When my friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, maybe it's time to get worried. Like they are. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding, not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here, unless you know something I don't. Time travel or Tabanga? What the fuck is Tabanga? I wonder if the Tabanga knows more than anybody here. Oh, Max, nobody even knows who brought the Tabanga here. It was likely stolen from the South Pacific by local fishermen. But I know what you're saying. There's a lot of energy here. Nathan? Oh, yeah, let's ask about Nathan. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. Hell no. Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad you did. So you haven't seen Nathan at all? Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus. After what happened this week. I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you you might be the wisest. There we go. I'm just, uh, we'll talk about Kate too. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Oh, Max. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Kate was the sweetest student I've ever met at Blackwell. And they can be so cruel to each other. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. Hell yeah. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. That's for sure. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. All right, well, we'll, we'll skip talking with Samuel. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Oh my god, look at all those birds. Holy moly. That's a lot of birds. 
All right, well, we found out from two sources that Nathan isn't here, even though the conversation with Brooke glitched and we did get a chance to talk with Miss Grant. So let's go, Chloe. Oh, they out. <laughs> Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. She's totally crushing on Mr. Jefferson. Isn't that weird? I, I kind of thought Chloe would, but I wasn't sure if she ever had him as a teacher. It's so lame they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Well, that shouldn't be super duper difficult. The Vortex Club sucks ass. Love, Evan. Can I has art, drawings? Oh, wait, who the hell? This is Kate. Oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Wow. All right, Bigfoot's got big balls. Jesus, what the fuck is up with this dorm, dude? Oh, Prescott's rule. Here we go. This can only be Nathan's room. I knew we had to look at the signs most likely, but there we go. Oh, of course. Oh, boy. Because this isn't a bad idea. What the fuck are those? A projector? What the fuck? Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. Why would he leave his phone behind? Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like Blake like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happens, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You sh could be such a good influence on her, unless you both want to play bad, but she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce. Even I get into shenanigans, but I'm trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I forget you're, teen you're still teenage adults. How did she know? She's a wizard. That is so Chloe. Hey, asshole, we need to talk or I'm going to tell everybody what you did and you're going to pay, motherfucker. Oh, my God. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Oh, that was the, the drug thing. That was when she did say that he drugged her. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Hmm. Photos. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Yeah, he really is fucked up. Camera. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <sighs> Bastard. And he just leaves it here, even though he gets expelled. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. What the fuck are these posters? Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Yep. Gift from David, I bet you. Alright, well, we can look at the computer here. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Uh, hey gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this weekend so I can wear something just as style and inexpensive. I'm psyched about going and picking up some serious par pate, party favors. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without a hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's do it fucking on point, right? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. I can't even believe this video is still up online. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Uh, wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but let's stick to your prescriptions. 
I need you calm and quiet while Pan Estates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden, and I'll guide you into this room step by step as I did as did my father. Uh, wow. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son, your father. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Bet she uses that to drug people. Wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset. While well, I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school, um, I don't want you distracted from school, and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. He really was a kiss-ass to him. Well, the computer had nothing. Scratch marks? What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Is that from the couch? Yeah, we'll definitely be able to move the couch. I want to look at the projector, though. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. I guess we can't look at what's on the screen. All right, move the couch. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Wait, what? Why would he just leave his phone and what are those, drugs? Now I have Nathan's phone so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. All right, let's leave. Now that the door is broken and it will never be fixed. Oh, he's in 111. All right, let's go. We got his phone and a baggie of stuff. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. Oh my god, this is bad. <clears throat> Warren. Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. <clears throat> oh, he fucking headbutted him. <gasps> uh, you are so fucking dead. <clears throat> oh my god, gun. Get off me, bro! Get the gun! Oh my god. Stay out of it, stop Warren. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? What? I hate these decisions, man. I hate them. I have to stay out of it. I don't... Stop Warren. Because if we stop him, he's gonna... He's gonna shoot him. And if we stay out of it, I'm gonna... I'm gonna stay out of it. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Get off me! Please! Please stop! Wow, he got messed up. He's down! Hey, come on! Stop! <laughs> Sorry. Yes, we have to go. Oh, she got the gun back. Who's the bitch now? Chloe. Oh, damn. He got wrecked. Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good, but scary. Wow. Shit, man. This really hurts. That was, that was totally the right decision. That was me spitting on you, Nathan. And we out. Peace. <laughs>